Hey, Slick, it's me. <laughs> what the fuck do you want? You got my money, punk? Hey, you got some coconut water or something like that? I need some electrolytes. Damn, it's kind of warm, isn't it? <sighs> Man, you got a death wish or something. Am I supposed to kill you now? Oh, no, bro. Not me. Nah. Oh, yeah. But that's my boy. Yeah, but that's my boy. He has betrayed everyone he's ever known. He's got you involved with the federal government, and he's messed up several business ventures of mine. He has got to go. And you know what? I'd like to say that this isn't personal, but it is personal. But the feds, man, the feds have told me to kill Trevor, and I obviously can't kill them both. The feds, Steve Haynes, Dave Norton. I own shopping malls. I would not employ those two clowns in. And I make one phone call, their careers, they are over. So you're gonna A, listen to some 50 grand a year pension hunter, or B, a billionaire, who even the president lets finger his wife, or C, Try and be really stupid and save those two idiot mentors of yours and have everybody in the goddamn state crawling up your ass. A, B, or C. Time's ticking, pal. Beep, 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 and your answer is... Man, you know what? Man, fuck you. <laughs> genius answer, pal. Total genius, but time is running. You think about it. Me, I got a triathlon coming up, and I am in deep training. Buh bye bye Man, fuck you. Franklin, what's up? Shit, what's cracking, homie? We need to talk, but somewhere quiet, all right? Yeah, sure, man. Whatever you need. How about one of those empty lots off El Burrow, on the east side of town? Yeah, all right, homie. Look, I'll meet you there, all right? Franklin, what's up, big homie? Mike, man. I need to have a conversation with Trevor. You know, yeah, that conversation. Oh, shit. All right, okay. Look, man, the FIB dudes want him gone. And Devin Weston want y'all gone. You know how it is, dawg. Shit. Somebody gotta go. Well, it ain't fucking me. Exactly, man. Look, we meeting at a Borough Heights. So you think you can help me? Uh, I don't know. That sounds like it's your thing, Frank. I I'll see what I can do. Hey, man. How you doing? Shit, I'm good, T. And yourself? <sighs> Peachy! I know what this is about. You do? Of course! It's Michael! You're the peacemaker! Well, I ain't having it, all right? I ain't having it. I mean, maybe when the heat dies down. But this, nah, I ain't having I mean, that's it, right? Huh? Wasn't it? Wasn't it? But Michael ain't the problem. T, I like you. You scare the shit out of me sometimes. You creep me the fuck out. But, but the way I see it, the way anyone normal will see it, not that any of this shit is normal, man, you gonna get us all fucking killed. You gonna whack me? Huh? Me? I ain't been nothing but straight and true with you. I'm sorry, man. Yeah, you have been true with me. But the truth ain't what I'm interested in. You fucking shoot us! Gasoline! 
Steve Trevor! Man, that was your best fucking friend! Fuck you. Oh. 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 You know what, tough guy? It's... It's time you grow the fuck up. I mean, I admit, I'm a bad piece of work, but that guy, that piece of shit, no boundaries, no sense of when to back off, no nothing. 24-7 insanity, day in, day out, all the time. Never regretted nothing, never cared for nothing. Well, fuck him. I mean, there's got to be a limit, kid. You know, a point where even assholes like us say, enough is he fucking enough. Human stew. That's my limit. I know that now. I guess that's that, Dean. It is what it is. It's certainly been an education. Surviving is winning, Franklin. Everything else is bullshit. Fairy tales spun by people afraid to look life in the eye. Whatever it takes, kid. Survive. Damn straight. Hey, kid, how you doing? Shit, not too good, dawg. Look, man, we need to talk, but somewhere quiet. All right. Listen, let's take a drive out of town. You and me, we'll meet off Route 68 by that field of satellite dishes. All the way out there? Yeah, all right, man. Sure. Hey, T, man, I'm in trouble, dawg. I think I gotta take out Michael. Got to? Yeah, man, look. The FIB, man, they trying to get me to clap you. And Devin Weston, he trying to get me to ice Michael. And I thought if I... If I do that, man, maybe we got some room, you know? So, wh what are you telling me this for? Cuz, dawg, I'm doing this for us. I thought you could... Well, I can't! You're turning on him? I have had enough traitors in my life! Man, your ass could say thank you. Shit. You deserve each other. Hey, man. Hey, what's up? You seem kind of agitated. Man, shit ain't good right now. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, shit. Hold on. Hey, baby, what's up? Really? Tracy? College? Our Tracy? R real college? You gotta be kidding me. That's great. All right, well, hey, listen, let me talk to you a little later, all right? Yeah, I just gotta wrap up some business here. All right, bye. Ah, uh, Amanda. Says she wants me to bring you around the house sometime for dinner. One of these nights, huh? Fuck. I mean, I don't know what I did to deserve this motherfucking luck. Got my kids back, my wife, got a job that I love. I mean, I made it. We made it. You and me, bro. <laughs> what? I like you, dog, and you know this. 
I risked everything for your ass, dawg. What is this? Look, man. Me and you know this shit ain't over, dawg. We both realists. The fuck is this? You... You? You came here to fucking clip me? You? Fuck! Taught you everything you know. Not everything. I was here long before you, and I'll be here after your ass. Well, we'll see about that, you fuck. I'll take you every time. Uh -huh. Every fucking time. Yeah, fucking a right. I was your bitch! I couldn't even stand down the barrel of your gun any fucking day, you motherfucker! You just keep telling yourself that. It ain't gonna make you feel any better. Past performance, homie. People don't fucking change. You did. You, two-bit gangster, got three-bit. And now you're gonna... Gap, the only one who was ever decent to you! Ha! No, I trusted you. I took you in. Treated you like family. My, let's just fuck you. Hey, you told me when the time came. I know, I'm sorry. You hypocrite. I should have clipped you when you broke into my house. Man, I'm sorry. It's like you said, I understand. You don't understand nothing! I'm all you got! You made the wrong call! Hey, Lamar, it's me, homie. Look, I was just calling to see how you was doing, dog. Or maybe we can hang out or something. Man, I know I've been kind of caught up in shit, man, but shit been real crazy, homie. But it's dealt with now. Fuck, man, you know how it is, homie. You just start running and shit. 
and all of a sudden your legs give and you just can't run no more. Anyway, man. Man, just hit me, dog. We brothers, homie, all right? Peace. Franklin. Lester, dog. Man, we need to talk. I got a problem I need your help with. Man, actually, fuck it. Man, we all got a problem you can help us with. Calm down, all right? Come to my house. All right, I, all right, I'm coming. What's the panic, bro? What the fuck do you think? Man, imagine a fucking scenario that will fuck things up the worst. Boy, my mind is just racing. But, you know, I don't want to say something that's really exciting, and then you have to act all deflated and say, no, no, it's just that somebody got the same tattoo I got. So why don't you just go ahead and tell me? Some motherfucker wants me to kill Michael. Some other motherfucker wants me to kill Trevor. I feel I can't kill both of them. Man, I'm fucked, man. I don't know what the fuck to do right now. Damn. Well, I can see that. Well, who are the motherfuckers? <sighs> Steve Haynes, uh, this angry motherfucker from the FIB. Yeah. Um, Devin Weston, man, you know the, um... Oh, that angry, that, um, rich fucker from whatever hole he hibernates in. Exactly. All right, all right, I say... Kill Michael, then kill Trevor. Oh. Man, are you for real? You're fucked, you know, I, I, I don't know. You know everything, dog. I know, okay, but I, I, I'm sorry, I guess this is it. You know, I'm doing my best, man. I don't know how you can deal with both of them. I know, man. Shit. We're fucked. Every single one of us is fucked. Unless... Okay. Steve Haynes is under a lot of heat because of the shootings at Court Center. And Devin Weston is A, known to be a major asshole, and B, known to be friendly with Don Percival, who runs Merriweather. I think, actually, Weston owns piece of Merriweather. Right, 11%. Pretty good for a pseudo-liberal owning a private army. So, they would both love to be involved in capturing the bullion that we just lifted. If I tell them both that you boys are at the foundry and where you had heights melting it down, then maybe, maybe both of them will pay you a visit and bam, we turn it into a, a bust. I ain't got no better ideas. All right, I'm gonna get in touch with Michael and Trevor. You go to the foundry, get yourself set up. I got you. All right. What's up, homie? Man, things are kind of fucked up right now, dawg. It's all good, nigga. Who better to have in a fucked up situation than a fucked up fool like me? Man, that's what the fuck I wanted to hear. Hey, look, I'm coming to your crib to get your ass. I'm here. Where we going? We, uh, heading to the foundry place. Nice try, dickhead. Look, man. Mike and Trevor, they should be inside. Can you stay out here and let us know when the bad dudes is coming? I got it, man. I'll holler at you. Now or never. 
Come on, Trevor. Fuck it! Where do you want me? All right, man. You go over there. All right, where you want me? You hold your position right there. Okay. I'm gonna go over there. for someone to kill us, or are we gonna wait till this fucker gets turned oh, again, huh? Bite me. Ain't anybody getting turned again, and you know it. Hey, man, the way I see it, we only just begun to clean this shit up. We got a lot of old friends I think need to be re-educated. A lot of friends. I mean, things could get really messy. No, we just gotta silence a few noisy people. <laughs> what the hell, yo? Let me see. There's, uh... Steve Haynes. Dave Norton. No, we need him alive. Why? So nobody fucks with us afterwards. What about that triad motherfucker? The one that think you two boys is dating? Shit, you know he bound to come back. Yep, there's that. Well, who's the uh, the guy who set up Lamar? Hmm? Stretch? We want to throw him in? Should Trevor throw anyone in just to satisfy his bloodlust? Whoa! Hey, <laughs> it's called a fucking loose end, all right? Now, if we're going to be men of peace and tranquility, we tie up loose ends. <sighs> Man, Stretch has been a liability. But then we're gonna have to take care of our old pals Devin Weston and Steve Haynes. Oh, fuck, what a mess, man. Well, let's get it cleaned up. How about you get Lester on the line? Who is this? Uh, stop calling this number. Hey, it's me, dawg. <laughs> You're alive. I thought someone might have your phone. Nah, nah, but look, I got you on speakerphone. Oh, did Mike make it? Yeah, I'm here. And the other one? <clears throat> See you putting the ground wheels. Uh-huh. You, um, just... Calling for a chat? No, we got some work to do. Can you get us some whereabouts? Oh, I'll do my best. Who? Steve Haynes to start. And Devin Weston's ass. And uh, Wei Ching. W E I C H E N G. Wei Chang. Wei Chang. And Franklin's pal, Stretch. Huh? Stretch? Yeah, man. Look, his real name is Harold Joseph. Okay, well, I can tell you that Agent Haynes is taping a show over on Del Perro Pier. Shooting permit came up immediately. Check it! Oh, I wanted to ice that fucker since the moment I met him! All right, all right. Ah, I got a signal from Mr. Harold Joseph's phone over at the B.J. Smith Recreation Center. No, I got him. I got him. Let's keep him clear of uh, known associates. All right, thanks, dawg. You got it. What you got for me? Tao Ching's credit card just bought a Magnum at the Beach Club in Pacific Bluffs. Okay, I'll go ask his ass about his punk-ass dad. When I find Mr. Weston, I'll send the coordinates. All right, good. Oh, hey, disrespectful-ass motherfuckers trying to break the order of things. Please, pair of bitches. Only pair of bitches that stretch tolerate are the ones that work this pole at. That's night. in their best. I'm moving on Haynes. Les, see if you can patch me into his radio mic. I want a last reminder of what an annoying prick he is. Los Santos. A city of saints. A city of sinners. And nothing in between but the FIB. Cut! God, this is crap. Who writes this bullshit anyway? Okay, all right. You got this frame drive? Right? Yeah, you're looking great. Is the chin? How's the chin? Oh, sharp. All right, the audio's clean? Nice. Oh, well, say something. Uh, check, check, check. Yeah, it's great. Okay, fine. We're on. I'm ready. You ready? Speed. All right, let's do this, people. I'm a professional. Let's go. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Steve Haynes. Hi. So for this weekend, how about we take a drive down the Western Highway? A city of celluloid. 
turn into nightmares. Leaving the Beast Club. I'm gonna do it now. That was him. Hey, unless you got news from the Foundry team, I don't want to be disturbed. Wait, wait, hear me out! Ugh. No more talking! Here we are, Slick! With a few minutes for some one-on-one -on -one time. Tea? Never better, amigo. Franklin? I'll be here. <laughs> Franklin. Hey, what's up? I assume you got him? Ooh, safe and sound. Ain't that right, buddy? <laughs> hey, my bad, homie. I picked C. Ain't that a bitch? You know, Devin, the way I see it, and hey, I'm no intelligent businessman like you, but the way I see it, there's two great evils that bedevil American capitalism of the type that you practice. Number one is outsourcing. You paid a private company to do your dirty work for you, and then you underpaid that company because you thought you were big enough and bad enough that you didn't have to play by the rules. Oh, number two, offshoring your profits. Offshoring? Oh, it's horrible. You wouldn't want to be sent offshore just to save a little money, would you, T? Oh, no, Franklin? I wouldn't. Oh, no, I ain't would going want? nowhere. No, see, but we know your opinions on the matter, Devin. Keep your problems the fuck out of America, huh? <laughs> In this instance, when he puts it like that, it makes sense. Of course it does. Hey, Devin, goodbye, my old friend. Thanks for all the advice. Bye-bye. <laughs> So now what? Now we keep a low profile and get on with our lives. As friends. Well, do I have a choice? No, not really. All right, then. As, uh, flawed, awful, totally uncomfortable, and poorly matched friends. Absolutely. Oh, that's perfect. Then we can get back to the kind of capitalism we practice. Shit, I don't know how much more better that is than Devin's con. Ooh, hypocrisy, Franklin. Civilization's greatest virtue. Jesus, your therapist has a lot to answer for. I know, I still hate myself. But hey, at least I know the words for it now. Yeah, but I hate you, and I know the words for it. So does that mean I don't have to go to therapy? Look, man, you two motherfuckers terrify me of that middle age. I'm good. You're right to be afraid, Franklin. Yeah. Be very afraid, Franklin.
Tell you one thing, T. I'm getting too old for this nonsense. Oh. Oh, it's a 